Sean Levy, assisted by Megan Kilgore, and Minneapolis head coach Brian Weatherly, assisted by Sarah Hockey and Neil Rathbun. I didn't have a signed up. They didn't get our email, rebroadcast, rescheduling the game, or didn't take action on it. So we're not on the internet? Not yet. So who'd you call? Team line. I'm trying to get it set up. Are you calling it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm connected to them now, waiting for them to get their thing done. Mike's running the camera for me. I see that. Basketball. <laughs> Basketball. Girls and boys. This got a girls and boys, right? This is for girls and boys. Two games. Girls is the first one. Okay. Thank you. This is Solomon. S-O-L-O-M-O-N is the opponent. Okay. Thanks. You can't hear you. Let's see what happens here. He said he couldn't hear you and you cut him off. Wow. He had, uh, he said he had to set up, so. <coughs> if he couldn't hear me then, he wasn't gonna hear me in the future. More minutes here. I didn't see who scored for us. I wasn't watching. I'm sorry. Mike. Oh, Mike didn't have it on. Dang it. Gosh, you can compare with them a half or something. I forgot who that other Lomberger was over there. Minneapolis again. Did you get a girls game set up for us? It won't take us. I'll 
I'll try it again. Thanks.
Y34. four. Minneapolis High School here in Minneapolis, Kansas as the Minneapolis Lady Lions taking on the Lady Solomon Gorillas. Folks, we apologize for the delay in getting on the air tonight as we're about at the end of the first quarter. As with some technical difficulties, we are just now getting started, but Minneapolis has the lead at 13-4 to here close to the end of the, four, of the first quarter. As Solomon Gorillas have the ball on the outside. They kick it down low to the inside. Trailed by the Lady Lions. Shot by Kaylee Black and she drains it from the outside. 13 to 6, Lady Lions with the lead, and that's the end of the first quarter. So just like that, the Minneapolis Lady Lions um, come out in the first quarter and get the stuff done that they need to get done. <coughs> Excuse me, to take the 13 to 6 lead. So Lady Lions with the lead at the end of the first quarter, 13 to 6, as Minneapolis and the Solomon Gorillas with their makeup game that was supposed to be on December the 10th. Uh, but because of snow, and, and we got snow in the forecast uh, coming in the next couple of days. So Minneapolis Lady Lions with the lead, 13-6 to six at the end of the first quarter. We're going to go ahead and keep it here. Dale is, uh, Dale Leach, Mike Perry, myself, Scott Osherman, as Minneapolis and Solomon. This is um, basically the game that uh, uh, was supposed to have been played um, the very first time in the uh, Tri-County Classic. And uh, season opener, season opener, which uh, we were not uh, unable to be in. And uh, right now, Lady Lions uh, had the lead at the end of the first quarter. So, so uh, Mike will have the call. Mike Perry will have the call for the girls' game. And uh, Mike, uh, you were up there filming. Um, I was a little low on my stats. I've missed one uh, Minneapolis's first bucket as well as Solomon. So I have to get that off the scores table. But uh, right now, Minneapolis with a 13 to six lead. Uh, we uh, had a little slow start here. Minneapolis uh, slow going there in the first quarter. The finally got started, and Steinbrock hit the big three to 
kind of get, get us uh, going on the offensive end. 13 to six, Minneapolis with the lead and the ball here to start the second quarter. Steinbrock with the ball out front, looking inside, has it to Page, left hand dribble drive up and in. Nice left hand layup by Kelsey Page. Full court pressure here, it's a 2-2-1, trapping zone press, and that was up and down, and that's a travel. I have not kept track of their turnovers, Mike, but uh, Minneapolis has forced quite a few so far tonight. Doing a good job on the defensive end. That trap is paying dividends uh, so far for Minneapolis. 15 to six, Lady Lions with the lead. Fulton with the ball out on top, looking for Shoemaker underneath. Now Steinbrock kicks out to get it. Now Shoemaker, left wing. Long three-pointer by Fulton off the front of the rim, no good, and Kelsey Page tracks down that rebound as Fulton had the distance, but off just a little bit off the rim. Now Macy, entry pass to Steinbrock. She loses the handle on it, goes off to Jantz, and you're safe when you say Jantz because there's two or three of them here on this team, 24 and I think 23. Uh, Rangel, excuse me, is he 24. She has the ball right now out front. And there's a nice steal by Macy. And she tries to rip it away from the Solomon defender. It goes out of bounds to Lady Gorillas. Miniman, I remember a few of these names from last year. Jance Miniman and uh, point guard is Black. Black's a pretty good ball handler, Mike. There's a yeah. nice steal by Shoemaker fronting the coast. Now she's looking down the court. It's all the way down to Page. Jump shot up. No good. And Miniman with the rebound. Now Black left wing. Gets it off to Rangel. Jump shot from the baseline. It's good. 15 to 8. Minneapolis with the lead here. Entry pass to Steinbrock to walk. Row letter in, and Miniman out for Solomon. Chance with the ball in the backcourt, being guarded by Page. Stepped and on she the, stepped out of bounds. Stepped out of bounds. <coughs> well, what are we going to expect with the boys tonight? Any idea, Scott? You or? know, I really don't know. I, I, um, I'm just kind of banking on what little bit of... Uh, I remember from last year they've lost some uh, they've lost some kids, but uh, I, I'm sure that uh, they're still going to try to uh, bring out some uh, bring out some players. So Page and close, and the rebound by Shoemaker. Stick back is up and in. I might be wrong, but I'm thinking I remember hearing Bennington did beat them. Yeah, they did. That should be. Oh. Tipped out of there by Miniman. Now, or Mike, uh, me, uh, were you able to be here Friday night for the boys game? Yeah. Um, I was pretty excited to hear about that game, that win for the boys on Friday night, and for the girls as well. Yeah, it's uh, a very good defensive effort by the boys, uh, to, especially with uh, Sacred Hearts 6'5", 6'3", 6'2", 6'1", combination. Our point guard was, oh, this nice pass by Shoemaker, and the layup oh. by Greg. Wow. Is nice missing. pass by Shea. Uh, Kylie doesn't miss very many of those open layups. <laughs> she missed one right there. So. Casanova with the rebound and Minneapolis with the tie up. No, Reardon, anytime he crossed the center of the court and they had a high pick and roll going on, uh, McCulloch would jump out on him and he just could not get a shot off. We held him to 13 points, which I thought was a pretty good effort. He's a pretty good offensive player. Shoemaker with a good steal. She's going all the way in as a walk. Yep. One extra step, one on two. Tried to split the defenders and probably should have stopped for the jump shot. Sacred Heart, didn't, the boys didn't score in the last three, 10 minutes, something like three, three minutes, 10 seconds of that game. Wow. And I believe we were 14 of 22 from the free throw line in the second half. <laughs> so, you know, not extremely good yeah. shooting down the stretch. I but talked to Coach and he said he only shot like 25% for the game, so. Three-pointer from Shoemaker, short. 
Let's call an air ball. Supposed to say that for Solomon there, Dale. <laughs> well, to Sacred Heart's credit, they did play the night before, so they, we doubled up on them. And you could tell that they lost their legs early in the first quarter. Reardon was tugging at his shirt after he'd played four minutes, so he was uh, he was gassed. Yeah, I, and I, I heard that that was the excuse that the coach used in the uh, paper. But, uh, you know, you, you condition your players, you... Uh, eventually they're going to have to have those games back to back so uh, I, I think conditioning wise Minneapolis is probably a, an extremely well conditioned team and I don't know how deep Sacred Heart went. So. They had to go pretty deep. Their point guard was six so they started their six, sixth man or their second string point guard who was really good I thought. Patel could not play and Rapp played for him and I thought he played rather well. Shoemaker in close, misses Crossen's stick back, and she is fouled. J.C. Crossen will go to the free throw line to shoot two. <laughs> uh, Grayson George played in foul trouble. Uh, he sat probably a third of the game and led all scores with 14. But, uh, you know, to have just five boys score uh, up at Ellsworth, we had nine score against Sacred Heart, which had the nine. bench scoring sure helped yeah, and did. Uh, did. got some good production from our our deep team. Crossen misses the first, second throw on its way. It's good. JC, pretty good free throw shooter. Miniman back to Jantz. 18 and to 8, the lead for the Lane Lions. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Uh, JC Crossen uh, shooting. Uh, well, she's four for six for the year so far. 66.7% uh, for the year so far from the free throw line. Black in the backcourt. Got a nice crossover dribble. Gets her pocket pick from Macy. And Macy ties up <laughs> Rolander. Possession arrow is to Solomon. They'll play it in on the baseline as Jantz will play it in for Lady Gorillas. Rangel uh, a little confusion going on there they must have had the possession arrow turned the wrong way I think uh, you're right so Minneapolis does have the ball Fulton with the ball out on top between the circles gets it off to Crossan Crossan looking inside Minneapolis with some uh, motion offense trying to get the ball down on the low block and hadn't really had much luck getting it in that low. We've been able to hit her. Now we've got crossing them down low. She misses the turnaround jumper. Greg with the rebound and stick back. Kylie Greg with the bucket. Kissed it off the glass. That's what I like to see. And Fulton with the reach in foul on Wrangle. That's Fulton's second. Personal foul. Solomon to play it in at half court. It's it in the back court to Black. Riley Baker in the contest for Minneapolis. That's a ball stripped by Fulton and <laughs> uh, tackled there. Fulton, Fulton has a lap of. Uh, Solomon Gorilla there. She's rolled right over the top of her. Casanova back in. And roll at her out. Minneapolis zoning up. No, still in a man to man under on that inbounds play. Ball tipped away by Greg. Recovered by Solomon. Three point shot on its way. No good. Air ball. That's an air ball deal. Yep. <laughs> Well, it sounds like we had a little trouble getting patched through to Main Central tonight. With the yeah, they didn't have us signed up tonight for some reason with the rescheduling and everything. Baker with the ball out on top. 2-3 zone by Solomon. Uh, now the entry pass to Cross and ball on the floor, and it's going to get taken away by Black. 
Jantz on the right wing gets it off to Casanova. Back to Jantz. Baseline oh, drive all the way in. Wow. And That's she good. takes advantage of that one right there. <coughs> nice drive to the baseline. No one shut the door, and she was able to get all the way to the, to the rack. Cross and, or excuse me, Baker. Now, Shoemaker on the baseline. Long three-pointer by Fulton off the mark. No good. Jantz uh, kind of uh, showed uh, shoved uh, Kylie Gregg just kind of out of the way down there in the baseline. Kylie uh, tried to steal it on the right-hand side and knocked it out of bounds. Black in the backcourt for the Solomon Gorillas. Minute 50 left in this contest. Oh, good hustle by Kylie right there. Tipped by Kylie, so it's not a backcourt infraction. Black had an opening for just a minute. Couldn't pull the trigger. Now Jantz. Now the baseline drive back out to Black. Nice little jump, uh, set shot by Black. She's got a pretty nice little shot there. Nice rotation on the ball. Shoots it above her head. 20 to drag. Now left wing Fulton Baker. Drag to zone. Spacing is all important on a Zone offense, split the defenders and pass the ball. Get the defense to get a little bit out of position, gets the open look to where Baker's at right here would have been a nice skip pass and an open look. Kelsey Page back in. Less than a minute left in the first quarter, or first half, 20 to 12, Lady Lions with the lead. Connor Fulton will have a seat. Fulton with two personal fouls and Coach Weatherman will get her out of harm's way before the end of the first half. Baker to trigger it in off to Crossan. Page all alone looks at this 2 3 zone. Tipped out of there by Black. Page didn't see the pass coming as Greg threw it cross court. Tipped out of there by Black. It will be Minneapolis ball. 45 to shoot here. And Minneapolis in no hurry. Spreads the floor and Tries to get some spacing here. Shoemaker on the baseline. Skip pass to Page. Back to Greg. Entry pass to Crossan. Now Page. 25 to shoot. Kylie Gregg with the ball. Baker gets it down. There's a cutter, but no pass. Now Greg wide open. Baseline drive. Jump shot. No good. And. Solomon with the ball in the backcourt. Five seconds to shoot. Jantz right wing. Back to Black. Shot. No good. And that's the way the first half will end. Minneapolis 20 and Solomon 12. We'll be back with some stats and first half action here in, and back with the second half action here in just a minute. Ada Grain is proud to. Welcome back to Minneapolis, Kansas, as Minneapolis Lions take a lead at the half, 20 to 12. Um, kind of an eventful, uneventful first half of basketball, Mike. Yeah, Minneapolis, pretty cold shooting from the outside, but to Solomon's credit, did a pretty good job on the defensive end. I think Minneapolis just hitting one uh, three-pointer, and that was by Allie Steinbrock. Uh, everything else, uh, as you mentioned, 20 points in the half. Uh, we're used to seeing 35-40 in the first half by the girls, so... Yeah, uh, to Solomon's credit, I think they're playing us a pretty good job on the defensive end. Yeah, they really have. Um, scoring by the half, uh, Minneapolis had a 13-7 lead, outscored them really nice. But in the second quarter, um, Minneapolis only scored seven points, and uh, they uh, outscored still Solomon by one uh, to increase their lead. They still won the quarter, but uh, uh, only have a eight-point lead at the half. That zone uh, defense has been a problem for us. You know, it seems to be. Um, seems like they're having a hard time hitting the cutter, and haven't uh, uh, haven't made the outside shots when they've had the opportunity. And we've missed some bunnies on the inside as well. So, uh, uh, to our benefit, though, their ball handling ability, Solomon's has not been the strongest. Minneapolis has forced a lot of turnovers. We just have not capitalized on those uh, turnovers like we have in the past. I think Coach Weatherman will get him kind of squared away. We were kind of caught down on the baseline, and uh, the post wasn't very effective down that low. But uh, 
you get the ball in uh, at the high post about the free throw line, then you've got room to maneuver down underneath and you can uh, create uh, some space and, uh, and get a cutter that way. If uh, the defense uh, drops back or you get double teamed, someone's usually open. So I think uh, just ball movement's the key. Spacing, of course, with the zone. But uh, yeah, this 2 3 zone, uh, we ought to be used to playing against it because that's mainly what we've played in the past past few years anyway. Absolutely. Uh, scoring wise for the um, Solomon Grillos, leading the way, Kaylee Black with six points, followed by Shelby Rangel with two, Devin Casanova with two, and Caitlin Jantz with two. For the Minneapolis leading lines, five, five ladies in the scoring book right now. Shea Shoemaker with eight, Kelsey Page with six, Allie Steinbrock with three, Callie Gregg with two, and one by J.C. Crossan to lead the scoring for the lady lines. Shea Shoemaker had a great first quarter. It was kind of cold in the second quarter. Well, the outside shooting will be the key, and we do have some zone busters on this squad as Shoemaker and Fulton are capable of lighting it up from the outside, and uh, you get a couple of those down the hatch from uh, long distance. It spreads that zone out a little bit further and opens up the inside for the post players. Uh, makes it a little bit easier uh, working <laughs> on the inside. Well, the teams are back on the court. Uh, we have about three minutes left before the start of the second half. This is a makeup game. This actually should have been the first game of the season for both the girls and the boys. Uh, snow uh, canceled it, and uh, we've got snow in the forecast for next couple of days. Rain uh, one day and then snow the next two, taking us right into uh, a Merry Christmas. Absolutely. and. Uh, uh, just to get that out of the way right now, Merry Christmas. Uh, we hope everyone has a great Christmas traveling-wise. So um, I don't want anybody singing. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Uh, we're going to have it this year, I think, Dale. <laughs> I'm dreaming. So, about two minutes left for the start of the second half. We will go ahead and take a break and couple, hear a word from our sponsors. Well, before we do that, a couple okay. of interesting points here, guys. About the, we talked about the Sacred Heart Games last Friday. A couple points of interest on the girls' side. We scored 61 points, which is the third game in a row we've been in the 60s uh, as for scoring. But uh, that was the most points that Minneapolis has scored against Sacred Heart since the opening game against them in 1976 when we scored 70 points in that game. The boys, the score was 50 to 37. We talked about a defensive effort there. That was the least amount of points that Sacred Heart has scored against Minneapolis since 1935. Wow. Uh, so the guys really did a stupendous <laughs> effort in attacking defense to shut down the Knights. And, uh, you know, as Mike was saying there, they had some height on us. And I see uh, Solomon's got another 6'5". How am going to work everybody gets 6'5", 6'6", six, kids, and we can't get in? Well, I don't know. I, I thought about that, too. We, uh, <laughs> we've got a, speed. We just don't have must height. Must be something in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Our 6'3", 6'2", 6'1", and 6'1", kids, just been out playing the uh, opponents hands down here of late. Yeah. 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 And we look ahead to this game tonight to, uh, for the boys. There's some size on the boys' side for Solomon as well. So uh, watching them warm up. Yeah. So. Interesting. Other interesting note, uh, I don't notice it last night or not, but, or last week or not, but on Friday night, uh, the Ellsworth, or excuse me, the Beloit boys took two overtimes to beat Ellsworth at Ellsworth by two. I saw that. That was an interesting, uh, very interesting ball game there. That kind of surprised me. Mm -hmm. uh, I really thought that in Ellsworth. In a way it did, in a way it didn't. I didn't know how good Beloit was going to be. So, and Ellsworth's a solid team. They are a solid team. They are. Ellsworth will only get better as the year goes along. They're, they've got the capabilities of being pretty tough towards the end of the season. Yeah. Come tournament time, I wouldn't want to face them. Lady Lions uh, about ready to start the second half, and starting lineup will be the same as what we started with, and that's Connor Fulton, Shea Shoemaker, uh, Kelsey Page, uh, Ali Steinbrock, as well as Ashlyn Macy. Possession arrow to Minneapolis, Casanova, Rowletter, Jantz, Black, and Wrangle. Uh, that's close enough for right now, anyway. Yep. Miniman, excuse me, 25 is out. Still in that 2-3 zone, and Minneapolis still looking to get the ball inside. Now Allie breaks out on top. She's 
Right there, Shoemaker with the ball on the baseline back out front to Fulton. Now right wing, Connor. Out front to Macy. There oh, we go. Nice shot. Nice drive by drive. Page up and in. Nice, uh, nice job by Kelsey Page. The patience by the Lady Lions right there. They had a couple looks from the outside, but patient they were looking for that, uh, uh, for that drive. Jantz clears the timeline, gets it off to Black. Back to Jantz, three-pointer, it's good. That's a good basketball player. player. Yeah, Jantz with the long three-pointer, it's good. Page out front to Macy. Right wing, Fulton. High low post now, Steinbrock kicks out to take the ball on the baseline. Still motion, Minneapolis not able to get in deep. There we go, Page all alone. Kicks it back to Macy, has the shot, it's no good, and she is gonna be whistled with foul. Page all alone in the paint. I thought she had the shot. 22-15, Minneapolis by seven. Full court pressure, Jantz. Back to Black, back to Jantz. That ball is tipped. Steinbrock almost intercepts it. And Black is hammered by Kelsey Page. Oh, that's, that's not quite a hammer, but it was a, uh, <laughs> it was a foul, but it was. Black out front with the ball. So. Shove with the body. Well, if you're shoving with the hands, it's one thing, but when you hit them with the shoulder, then you get yeah. ticketed. And she was black, left wing, dribble drive all the way in. She is hacked by Shoemaker, and she'll go to the free throw line oh. to shoot two. 6.02 left to go in the third quarter, 22 to 15. Lady Lions with the lead. At the line will be Kaylee Black. First throw on its way, it's good. She's got the best stroke of any girl on the floor. As far as the shooting touch, got nice form, nice rotation. I needed to say that so she would miss that. I greatly appreciate that, Mike. 22, 16, one for two for Black there from the free throw line, right wing, Page. Macy, top of the circle. Left wing, Fulton, skip pass to Macy. Dribble drive in the paint, she has her shot blocked by Jantz. Jantz picks up the loose ball, now trapped in the backcourt. Pass goes out of bounds, it goes over the head of <coughs> Wrangle. Timeout called by the Lady Lions. Coach Weatherman uh, doesn't like something and, and needs to get a spark under these girls. They're kind of just letting Solomon hang around here and uh, just not, uh, not getting the ball on the inside. And, Coach Weatherman calls time out to talk about it. So at the 536 mark left in the third quarter, we will take a break with them. You're listening to 910Canada.com as well as e-communication channel 8. The State Bank of Delphus and the Ottawa County Bank in Minneapolis are locally owned community banks committed to making your banking experience as easy and personal as possible. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. For all your insurance needs, check with Bob Martin your Farm Bureau Financial Services representative in Minneapolis. He can ensure what matters most at Farm Bureau Financial Services. Bob can help you protect what's important, your car, home, life, health, business, and more. Welcome back to Minneapolis as Lady Lions with the lead 22 to 16. And, um, um, Assistant what? coach for Solomon, Megan Livengood. Her married name would be something else, I'm sure, but. I was told that their head coach has some uh, tie with Minneapolis also. Right? Shauna Reedy, Connor Fulton right wing, out front to Page, lines up a three ball, it's short. And Miniman gets along Karam and goes all the way in for the layup, but she loses control of it. And Shoemaker kicks it out of bounds. It will be. Solomon Ball to play in under their own bucket. I'm sorry, I, I messed that up. Forgot the story. Nice hustle by Ashlyn Macy. Goes flying in there for the loose ball. And the tie up will go to the Solomon Gorillas. Um, guys, don't know if you notice or not, uh, uh, the older shoemaker, 
um, had her knee surgery. Yep, she had to brace on last Friday. All the way in, Black with the jump shot. It's up and in, and Solomon all of a sudden has a two-possession uh, basketball game. Minneapolis just with a four-point lead here. Right now, they've outscored the line six to two. And Steinbrock, three-pointer, no good. Oh, nice job by Shea Shoemaker to get the steal there. And finally, we get a bucket there on the inside. Shoemaker with the thievery, and the left-hand layup is up and in. Black loses control. And the shot is short, and Shoemaker with the rebound. And so far, far here in the second half, Solomon no. definitely outplaying <laughs> Minneapolis. These referees don't like that move. They do not like that move at all. They do not like that move at all. That's probably because they can't make that move, Dale. Yep. <laughs> so Meneman gets it out of that oh, That's a walk. There you go. Turnover of Solomon as Minneapolis applies the full court pressure. That's, that's the key right here is to pick up the defensive intensity to force those turnovers now to come back and get a bucket right here, folding on the outside. There is nothing on the inside. as no movement whatsoever. Minneapolis just finding... Uh, a slot, avoid in the defense. Now Page dribble drive in the paint. Shot, no good. And she will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Foul is on Devin Casanova. Second personal foul at the line will be Kelsey Page. Good job by Page to force the issue into the paint she went. Free throw, good. Baker the, story told, the story I was told about Solomon's head coach is she was on a very good Hope team that played in Minneapolis and Fitz back in the 90s. Against Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. Back in John Darrow Sr.'s days. Second throw on its way. Too strong off the back of the rim and Nine Page rebound gets her own rebound. 2-3 zone, Shoemaker, an open look from the outside, no good. And Page with the push. Kelsey, that's going to be number three on her, number two on Kelsey, I think. So, yep, second personal. She will check out as Kylie Gregg checks in. Uh, Riley Baker checked in as well as uh, J.C. Crossan. So on the floor for the Lions is Ashlyn Macy, Crossan, Baker, Gregg, and Shoemaker. Black with the crossover dribble is tied up nice by job. Kylie Gregg. Sorry about that, Mike. Nice job by Kylie Gregg right there to reach in and get the tie-up. Possession arrow to Minneapolis will play it in. Three-quarter court, Shoemaker to play it in to Macy. We'll see if we can get some movement out of uh, Crossan and Baker. Uh, Baker running the baseline there all alone, and Gregg didn't see her. Now Crossan, turn around jump shot, no good. <laughs> and I believe Casanova is whistled and with that another is, foul. That is her third personal foul, so Crossan will go back to the line. She was one for two earlier in the first in the second quarter. JC to shoot two here. 340 left third quarter. Minneapolis with a seven-point lead. First free throw in and out. <laughs> Miniman. Back in for Solomon. Second throw on its way off the heel, no good. And that's tipped out of there by Baker. Yeah, Solomon and uh, Minneapolis had a hand on that. I could have gone either way there with two hands on it. Solomon's ball. Black calling out the play for the Lady Gorillas. Motion offense, Minneapolis man to man. Black left wing, dribble drive, pass in close to Raggle. And Shoemaker with those elbows, you don't want to get too close. No, you don't. <laughs> kind of like Dirk Nowitzki the other night, put that six teeth out for that guy. That's a nice shot in close by Crossan. And they're getting it in down to the low block as J.C. Crossan's shot was no good, but she was fouled. Rowletter with the foul, crossing back to the free throw line, and no good. Yeah. 
Second throw on its way. It's good. 26-18, Minneapolis. Chance in the backcourt. Clears the timeline. Well, Chance moves the ball very well. well. Almost a walk. Shot from the outside, no good. Crossing gets a hand on it. It tips out to minimum. Nice job by Baker. Now we have a fast break opportunity. Shoemaker all the way in, that shot is good. And starts on the other end as Scott mentioned while on the defensive side of the court as Baker with the quick hands. Jantz clear out front. Looking for help. And Miniman stepped out of bounds, or went out of bounds, came back in. Wow. Macy in the backcourt, two minutes, 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Greg right wing, gets it down to Baker on the baseline. Last game right before Christmas, guys. Well, the girls and the boys will have a little bit of a break. Greg, baseline drive no good. Shot pretty flat off the front of the rim. Now baseline drive by Black, shot is up and in. She can score. By far their leading scorer. Shoemaker right wing had a look at a three, but passed it up. Skip pass to Macy. Now down on the baseline, Baker entry pass to Crossan. Shot is no good. She gets her own rebound and hands it off to Macy. Her shot is up and she is fouled. So Scott, do you have all your Santa Claus duties taken care of? Um, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Macy to the free throw line. She'll shoot two here. First throw on its way. Not good. No good. Missed some opportunities from the line tonight, guys. Is I would venture a guess Minneapolis shooting about 20 or 30 percent now from the free throw line. They are not shooting a good percentage. That one's off also. Chance gets it off to Miniman. Now Black baseline is shut down by Baker. Chance back to uh, Black. Dribble drive in the paint, she goes. 